Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss prototypal inheritance in JavaScript. Before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, inheritance is an essential concept in any object oriented programming language. Inheritance refers to the procedure through which one class or one constructor inherits the properties and methods of another constructor. In simple terms, let's suppose we have a constructor named as vehicle and we know we have different types of vehicles present like we have cars and we have bikes as well. So all these types share a few things in common, right? And now if we want to create a constructor, let's say we want to create a constructor bike and we want it to have a few of the same properties and methods as of the vehicles constructor. So in that case, we are left with two options. Either we can copy the properties from vehicle constructor and paste them inside the bike constructor or we can simply use inheritance to inherit those properties from the vehicle constructor to the bike constructor. In this case, the vehicle class will be known as a base class and the bike constructor or class will be known as the derived constructor because we derived a few properties from the vehicle constructor, right? Don't worry guys, I know the concept of classes might be new for you and the concept of inheritance might seem a bit different from other languages. Like if you are coming from a C++ background, you may notice that there we use classes for the concept of inheritance. But in JavaScript, before the introduction of ES6, that is ECMAScript 6, the concept of inheritance was based on constructors and prototypes. So with the introduction of ECMAScript 6, the idea of classes was also introduced in JavaScript and the usage of inheritance was also changed. We will discuss classes and inheritance in the next video. Today we are going to discuss the traditional way of using prototypes for inheritance. So don't be stressed guys if you are not clear with the syntax of inheritance by the end of this video. In the next video you will understand the concept and syntax of inheritance without any confusion. So we'll now talk about a few things. So let's start with the programming part. So guys, whenever we create an object with a method, like we can create an object with the help of object literal method, or we can do the same with the help of constructor function method as well, right? Then we have a prototype every time. You might have noticed it. We have been through it in the past few videos. So every time we create an object, we notice that it has a prototype. Now what we will do here is we'll create a prototype. So the syntax will be like, so we'll write here const, we are using const in place of variable. I hope you guys are aware of const, where and let keywords. So today we are using here const. So let's say the prototype name is employee. We'll write here equals to and then we have the body of the prototype. Let's do one thing. Now we'll use a method. Let's say the method name is post, post of the employee and we'll write here function and then we have the body of the function. So let's say this function returns a string. So we'll write here return and the, let's say the function returns a software developer. And then we have another function named as change name and we'll write here function, we'll pass a parameter and then we have the body of this method. So we'll write here this dot name is equal to name and we are good to go right so what we did here is we created a prototype of the name employee and it has two functions one is the employees post and the other one is to change the name so let's save this program and check it in the console if it has any errors so let's save it now and we'll go here and check on the console so here you can see everything is fine so till now we created a prototype now let's create an object as well so what we'll do we'll create an object here we'll write here let's say where and let's say the object name is even so we'll create an object with the help of object dot create method okay so we have to write here dot so we have to pass uh, the prototype name so we'll write here employee and then what we'll do we'll print this on a console so we'll write here console dot log and we'll write here 
even let's say so we created an object even with the help of object dot create method let's save it and check it on the console if we see here we don't have anything else other than a single prototype right we have a single prototype here we have no method mentioned so if we open it we have the two methods of course we have post and we have change name but if we write here let's say we are writing here even dot name and the value of name will be let's say kaushal and then we'll assign a role as well let's say these are the two new properties we'll write here even dot role and let's say the role of kaushal is writer fine and if we save it and check it again on the console now what we did is we changed the name and role right so these are the two properties we have both name as kaushal and role as writer now let's see if we can use the methods here as well so we'll write here let's say we are using the method even dot change name what we'll do here is we'll change the name from kaushal to something else let's say we are going to change the name as ram so if we save this now so here you can see the name is changed to ram initially the name was kaushal and when we use the change name method now you can see here the name is changed to ram so this means that the methods we defined inside the prototype are working right now let's say we want to create another object here we created an object even till now we assigned some properties to it and we changed the name and printed it on the console now let me tell you guys an alternate way to do so so what we'll do is we'll copy this line from here because the syntax of that method also looks a bit same so the syntax will remain the same till here so we'll paste it here what we'll do next is we'll pass a few arguments here so let's pass the arguments first then i'll explain it to you guys so what we are going to do is we are going to use curly braces for arguments and we are going to write here let's say name and the value of name will be we are going to write here value and we'll pass the value as let's say kaushal2 right so we'll use a comma here then we'll use role and we'll pass the value of role as well so let's say the value of role is programmer now right put a comma here now i know the syntax is a bit complicated but this is the reason why classes were introduced in es6 so this is the reason we'll be using classes in future but going through this syntax will make the next one easier for you guys so we have created an object here with the object dot create method and we passed few arguments here so we have name and the value of name we want it to be kaushal2 and the value of role we want it to be programmer so if we copy this from here or let's say if we copy these two lines from here if we cut these two lines from here and we'll paste it here so if you see here we have two objects of the same name we have var even and here also we have var even now both these syntaxes are doing the same thing that is creating an object of the same name suppose if we comment this first object let's say we are commenting this one and we'll also comment this line if we save this now and if we see on our console so here you can see we have the name as kaushal2 and role as programmer so these two syntaxes are doing exactly the same thing the only thing to notice here is if we use this line with this syntax if we use even dot change name and if we save this now you can see it is not working in this case right so if we want to do it we have to write some more code so what we have to do is we have to write here writable and we have to pass the value as true so what we are doing is we are allowing this method to change the name from kaushal2 to, to ram so if we save it now here you can see the name is ram now earlier it was kaushal2 and now this is working totally fine right so both the syntaxes are doing the same things as we can see here the reason behind going through this is we need the syntax of creating objects later in this video so i hope you guys understood it now moving ahead let's take a look at prototypal inheritance so what we are going to do is we are going to comment this code so we are going to comment all this and we are going to write a new one for prototypal inheritance 
let's say we have a constructor function so let's create a constructor function first so what we are going to do is we are going to right here let's say we are going to create the same function we'll take the same example of employee right so we'll write here function employee and we'll pass the properties here let's say we are writing here name and uh, another one is id and the last properties salary of the employee right so next up we have the body of the constructor so we'll write inside here this dot name is equal to name then we have this dot id equals to id then we have this dot salary equals to salary right so we know this already right we'll now add a method to the prototype of the employee so we'll write here we'll write outside this constructor we'll write here employee dot prototype dot post let's say the name of the method is post so what we are going to do is we are going to write your function and then we have the body of the function so let's say this returns the post of the employee what we'll do is we'll write here return and it will return the name plus post of the employee right so we'll write here this dot name plus bit of space and then again we'll write here is a content creator let's say right so we are done with the method here as you can see what we did here is we created a constructor employee and added a function that returns this string upon calling so we haven't done anything extra till now let's create an object now so we'll write here let's say we are creating an object where kaushal and what we'll do is we'll write here new underscore employee and we'll pass the values here so let's say the values are kaushal and the id is four like let's say this is the id three four three two or whatever it is and the salary let's say is ten thousand okay so the next thing is we'll write here console.log and we'll print the value of kaushal on a console so let's save it now and here you can see we have all the properties here we have id as 3432 name as kaushal and salary as 10000 here if you see inside proto you can see here we have a method here name is post and we have constructor as employee and then we have object as well now if we call the prototype post with this object so what we have to do is we have to write here in console we'll write here kaushal dot post and here you can see we have the output as kaushal is a content creator till now it's fine right we did small things which we learned in the previous few videos so let's suppose we have another employee named arun and let's assume he's also a content creator but he's a master in javascript as well so we want to mention it here along with all these properties we have name id and salary which we will inherit from this employee constructor and apart from that we'll add another property which is the subject or which is the language property so we have to create a new constructor here for it so what we'll do is we'll write here function and then we'll write the name of this constructor so let's say the name is function programmer so we'll write here name we'll pass all the properties we'll write a name id salary and finally we have the language right then we have the body of the constructor the first three properties will remain the same right only subject or language we have added language here so only language will be added now we'll inherit these properties from employee before the concept of class was introduced inheritance was based on prototypes only so we'll see the concept of classes in the upcoming video so here what we are going to do is we are going to call this employee constructor so we'll write here employee dot call and we'll pass the properties which we want to inherit so we'll write here first this and first we have to write the this keyword and then we have to write other properties so we'll write here name id salary what we did is we called the function employee and asked it to provide all the three mentioned properties to the function programmer we'll set the value of language by ourselves we'll write here 
this dot language equals to language now if we create an object for the constructor programmer what it will do is it will take all the properties from the employee and language will be added to those properties let's do it first so we'll create an object here we'll write here where let's say the object name is Arun and we'll write here new programmer and we'll pass the values let's say the name is Arun ID is 4321 and salary is let's say 12,000 and finally we have to add the subject here as well or we can say language so let's say the language is JavaScript next thing we are going to do is we we are going to print this on console so we'll write here console.log and we'll print Arun right let's save it and see here we have all the properties available with the provided values we have name as Arun we have ID as 4321 salary as 12,000 and language is JavaScript so this is how we can inherit the properties in the derived constructor from the base constructor the base constructor is the employee and the derived is a programmer so coming back to the console we can see here we have all the four properties right three of them are inherited and the last one was assigned by us but I don't know if you guys noticed here that we have the properties only of the constructor so we don't have any method here right so if we see here we don't have any method of constructor employee because here you can see we have a method as post and if we see here we don't have any method so if we write here let's say if we write here in a console we are writing here let's say arun dot post and we'll run it so here you can see it says arun dot post is not a function right this is because the prototype post is not assigned to the constructor programmer for that we have to write some extra code we have to write here so we have to write here programmer dot prototype equals to object dot create and we have to mention the employee prototype so we'll write here employee dot prototype right so save it now and here you can see now if we go to underscore underscore proto we have post as a method here so if we write here arun dot post now so here you can see it says arun is a content creator so we have to provide the prototypes manually as well let me show you guys one more thing now see here it is not showing the constructor if we click here on the proto so we don't have any constructor here named as programmer so we have to set the constructor as well we have to set it manually and to set the constructor manually we have to write here after this line we have to write here programmer dot prototype dot constructor equals to programmer if we save this program now and if we go back to our console and if we check here here you can see we have a constructor named as programmer now so you guys might be thinking that we have to work a lot for all this inheritance right the fact is we actually had to do it before ES6 was introduced now if you want to do the same with the help of classes the syntax will be so easy we'll go through it in the next video so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through classes and inheritance in javascript so if you guys like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you